Want help to grow your business? Download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today. Hello and welcome to Teach Me Tech. I am your host, Laurel Gray, and this is my little friend who doesn't have a name. I thought that I would bring him here today because today we're talking all about a software product called CoSchedule. Now, as we always do on Teach Me Tech, we love to explore different sort of uh, technology tools that are going to save you time, money, and so much energy. And CoSchedule is a great tool because it allows you to collaborate with your team and schedule not only your blog posts, but also now your social media. So I'm really excited. And here's what we're going to cover today. First of all, why you might consider a standalone content scheduling system like CoSchedule. Uh, best practice around content creation for your website. A few features overview and registration. So going through all the different features of which there are many and then registering your account. Setting up CoSchedule and adding in your website and social networks. Understanding the dashboard and how the interface works. Scheduling your first post. Scheduling social media follow-up, collaborating with your team, and finally, advanced integrations that we always love to cover. So, all right, let's get started. Woohoo! I'm really excited about this one because I did start using CoSchedule a couple of years ago. And um, since then, I have sort of let it peter off because I don't create as much content as I used to and just kind of have let it go to the wayside. But they have come out with so many new parts to the software and it's really, really exciting. So why might you consider using a content scheduling system like CoSchedule in your business? Um, especially when WordPress, for example, allows you to schedule blog posts and do all of that right within the system itself. So why would you need some other content management system to overlay over the top? It doesn't really make a lot of sense. Um, so look, CoSchedule essentially is very visual. So if you're watching this as a visual person, it's going to help you a lot to have something where you can drag and drop and move your blog posts around. Secondly, there is native integration with your social media channels. So it used to be that you'd have to create your blog posts, get them scheduled and sent off, and then later you'd have to go into a separate system like Hootsuite or Buffer to schedule out your social media posts. Now you can actually do it directly within CoSchedule and make sure that things get sent off uh, just perfectly. And it's all seamless and they've got all the analytics and everything right in there. So I guess, in general, why would you use a, a tool like this instead of just doing it on your own? Well, look, if you're on your own and you're just one person, probably chances are you could get away with just doing it directly in WordPress and using a buffer, for example, to do your social media posts off the back of that article or blog post. Um, however, as you start to add in more team members, WordPress just becomes a little bit more unruly. It's a lot more difficult to collaborate with your team within that interface and know what's going out when. So what CoSchedule does is create a beautiful visual overlay where you can come up with all of the content you ever could want and get it scheduled and delivered on time and reviewed by the right people in your organization if you are working with a larger group of people. All right, so if you're not sold yet, let's go into the next little bit here. Um, which is around best practice for content creation on your website. I know this is uh, something that uh, it used to be a little bit of a hot topic um, and it hasn't been for the last couple of years because people are getting a lot more native around creating content on their site and pretty much business owners know that if they're going to be increasing their search engine rankings, they've got to be creating content that's continual on their site that's going to give them those keywords that they need to drive rankings. So. People sort of know now, look, you've got a blog, you've got to create content on your site. So best practice around content creation um, is going to be to, of course, work with a real marketing professional or someone who can give you the best advice for your industry. Um, but what you could do before going to work with that person is use a tool like CoSchedule, for example, or at least make sure that you've got Google Analytics installed on your website. Um, and that you're tracking all the link backs 
So let's say, for example, you send out an email marketing campaign weekly or monthly that links back to your, uh, your blog or maybe separate blog posts. Make sure that you've got all of that tracked and that you've got those statistics ready at hand so that you can go back and track what's working and what's not. Um, because within different industries, there are different levels of standard. So for me, maybe, I, in my business, I might get a lot of success out of sending out one blog post every week, and that might work great for me. Whereas other businesses might have to blog a lot more frequently to get the traction that they need. So look, I'm not a marketing expert. I don't pretend to be. I only know about the technology. All I can say for you is to get a system in place that allows you to have complete transparency around your content. Um, and that's why I do recommend CoSchedule because it gives you all of the analytics and everything that you need within one platform. All right, so you're probably really curious to find out what is CoSchedule and why am I so flat out about recommending it. All right, so let's hop onto the screen here. And what I'll do is go through all of the features with you. So in order to find the CoSchedule website, you can either just type in CoSchedule into your favorite search engine or go to CoSchedule.com. And the landing page that comes up is pretty descriptive. Um, and it walks you through some of the features. And this is the part that takes a little bit of time that I want to run through. Um, essentially, it says here, here's how you can become a blogging rock star while having more time to do what you love. So as I mentioned before, CoSchedule is going to integrate your blog posts with your social media. You can plan and schedule all of your social media, not only um, around those blog posts, but in general, on top of CoSchedule. And you can customize your social media sharing to ensure that you get more traffic. Okay, so using those analytics to really drive your behavior. The other part that's super important is around being organized and planning ahead to balance out your editorial calendar. If you're just scheduling things in WordPress, it doesn't automatically give you that view as a calendar, so it's difficult to know how frequently you're actually posting. Whereas with CoSchedule, you get a beautiful visual view that's all color-coded. Now, in addition, there are different types of content, and we didn't really talk about this before. You've got your regular blog, blog content, you've got photos, you've got video content, I'm sure, in your business, um, ebooks, podcasts, um, email marketing, webinars, um, Google Docs, perhaps that you've created as a knowledge base, or press releases. All of that can be managed with CoSchedule. Um, so it's no longer that we're looking at just one piece of content, which is just a written blog post. We're looking at the plethora of content that you could potentially put out. And so I really hope that this video gives you a bit of spark, a bit of inspiration around the type of content that you could create for your business, even if you're not doing it already. Okay, so just get a little bit of inspiration. And what I love about the CoSchedule branding and the website is that it's really clean, it's fun, and it brings back that excitement around creating content. Because I tell you what, for some people, creating content can be a huge bore. But what you know is so valuable. So it doesn't matter what industry you're in, you are an expert in that. And if you can just share little nuggets of information and have fun while doing it, you're going to be able to share all that knowledge and information with the world. So it's really fantastic. All right, let's hop back on and I'll run, you, run through some of the other features. Okay, so essentially we're getting things in one place. And we're also, because we've got all those beautiful analytics, we're able to boost our traffic from old posts and reshare social media from the past to drive traffic again back to our website. Okay, become a better blogger. So share your posts easily, grow your traffic obsessively. Um, it's about creating content that your audience actually likes, not just stuff that you like writing about. So it's going to give you very clear analytics on that. And then, of course, as always, it's got beautiful integrations to make sure that your marketing is completely seamless. Okay, and they've got a couple of testimonials here. Um, it does give you a little calculator there if you do want to find out how much money you potentially could save with CoSchedule. Um, and I think that's pretty much it in terms of the main general features. But if we do click on features above, this is one that I love watching the videos on um, because they're always updating it. And um, let's just run through the main ones, and we'll go into more of the features later. But as you can see, CoSchedule has got a lot of functionality that's going to help you to be an even better marketer, even if it's just you and your business.
Okay, so this is finally an all-in-one marketing calendar for everything. And this is where you turn your marketing plans into real content. So even if you just got one little nugget of an idea, you can map out a content plan for, let's say, for example, for the next entire year. And CoSchedule allows you to do it beautifully. Now, it's got a couple of little um, screenshots here that I'll share with you, um, where you can, um, it sits here on September 20th, Sunday. Um, it's got little tick marks there, and that's showing that those posts have already been shared. Um, or no, sorry, that those tasks have already been complete. Um, and then it also shows the little icons for, um, for the different social media channels that you might actually be accessing. So it's all very visual for you and your team. Um, and it gives you a little task list if you are more of a linear thinker as well to be able to map out all those points that you need to follow in order to create great content. So it's often not just that you, have to, you can just go in and write a blog post. There's often a significant amount of research or for example, if you're using a guest blogger, for example, you might need to get in touch with them first, you might need to work out the topic of the content and exactly what they're gonna cover. Or if you're doing a video interview, you actually have to schedule the interview, conduct it, make it happen. CoSchedule is gonna give you that entire infrastructure around creating content that, um, that you might not already have in place if you're using a project and task management system. So it's really set up to give you the most amount of success in your business. All right, we'll hop back on the computer. And um, again, it's getting everything in one place. You can share anything that you want with one content calendar. So that means once the post is scheduled, you can set it up so that your social media shares in progression after your post has already been published. Um, and you can work nimbly to save a ton of time. What I love is the real drag and drop, the colorful uh, labeling that you can do. And yeah, it's just, it's really nice, nice and clean. Um, now, secondarily, in addition to the marketing calendar functionality, um, you've got your social media scheduling as well. So rather, again, like than using a buffer or a Hootsuite, what you can do is hop into CoSchedule, watch this video. Um, you can go in and off the back of your post, schedule on the social media uh, content that you want. So maybe you've actually created some of that content directly in um, Canva, for example. If you're resizing images between Twitter and Facebook and LinkedIn and Instagram and all of that. Um, and then you can pop that information back into CoSchedule rather than having to go to a bunch of different platforms to schedule everything in. So especially if you're a sole practitioner and this is your business that you're running and you're really pressed for time, it's gonna allow you to get all of that beautiful content all in one place, kind of corralled in one bucket and ready for sharing. Okay, so let's just hop back on and I'll run through a couple more of the features. Um, it does give you some beautiful social templates. So that means you don't have to do everything completely manually. It does give you a few ideas. And I know if you're not a social media expert, um, which very few people are, it's changing all the time. Um, it's gonna allow you to uh, make ske a schedule based on how effective your posts have been in the past. Um, and in addition, you can take the guesswork out of posting your social media messages because it's going to give you the best time scheduling and it's according to the co-schedule research and best practice, which we'll go into a little bit more later as well because they've done some awesome research. Uh, and you can save time with better planning and collaboration. They estimate that for every piece of content that you share, you save 30 minutes. And that's a pretty fantastic number. Um, Again, they give you those insights on your posts and they give you a couple of more testimonials. So very quickly, before we go to sign up for our account, I just wanna run you through the pricing. Now, because CoSchedule is a paid for service, meaning unlike most of the things that we talk about on Teach Me Tech, it is 100% paid after the 14 day trial, I want you guys to be really sold. And that's why I'm going on and on and on about this. So um, one thing to note before we even actually talk about the pricing is that um, remember, it's your content. To continue enjoying this presentation, download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today.